Shalom, which is peace in the Hebrew tongue. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rekah, Kodash, double honor to the true leaders of the nation of Israel in these last days, great millstone, also known as GMS. Salutations to the most high's men and four corners of the earth, pushing this word of sincerity and the truth, and Shalom to the sisters that support and subscribe wholeheartedly to the message of deliverance and salvation of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, this is your brother, my young man from GMS, Mississippi, with the intrinsic topic, going into the dew of heaven. Before there was rain, the earth was watered by the dew of, of the heavens up above. And that is what nurtured your farm areas, your vegetation, and your agricultural stock. And it was prophesied <clears throat> by Noah that the rain would come and cover the face of the earth. And that's where you get the story of the flood and how the heavenly father destroyed the first world or the first earth by way of the flood. But the dew of heaven was the only thing that was common in that time. And there was no such thing as the precipitation falling down from the skies. There was no such thing as water pouring down as a shower upon the earth beneath. So <clears throat> the prophesying was it was ridiculed, it was mocked, it was laughed at, and it was, it was not taken seriously, you know, as many of the Heavenly Father's words. But when that rain began to fall, little by little, sprinkle by sprinkle, then drop by drop, you know, because you have different phases of the rain to where you can have a mist, you can have a sprinkle, and then you have, have a full-fledged cloud that opens up and it, it, it literally pours down uh, very forcefully and when that began to happen at that moment that's when the words of Noah were made manifest unto those that took it for granted and the Heavenly Father has it prepared that he's no longer going to allow the rain to destroy the wicked of the world he has it predestined that it will rain by way of fire to destroy the wicked of the world during the second death. Because this is going to be the ultimate reset to where wickedness shall be rooted out and righteousness shall be planted and it shall grow and spring forth and there shall not be any returning back unto the wicked way because the kingdom of the wicked shall be discarded and the kingdom of the righteous shall be an everlasting kingdom. That's the kingdom of our Lord and our Savior. You know, but the kingdom of men, this kingdom of wickedness from the sons of men, they're no longer going to have dominion over the planet Earth. You know, the Heavenly Father states in the book of Daniel that he places it over it whomsoever he will. But in due time, he's going to place over it someone that is worthy, which is his only begotten son. He, and he shall take the crowns of the kings of the earth and place them underneath his feet and he's going to rule, right? You're going to have the Lord, you're going to have King David and then the hierarchy is going to trinkle down from the 12, 144,000 of the most highs elect you know, that those particularly different classes of people because the scripture says that all of Israel shall be saved you know, but you still are going to have those that suffer for Yahweh Shah's sake in this time and rule in a different a different manner, right? That as it's written, you, you shall sit on the twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And you have those that are going to be reminded and shamefaced at them not taking the word of the Heavenly Father seriously while they had the liberty to do so. You know? But as the dew up above is covering the face of the of the earth right now, as you can see on my left and on my right. You know, the visibility is not very is not very good but that's how the heavenly father is going to cover Babylon the great you know the scripture says that it's going to appear as though it is a lake of fire and when you look at a lake and you look at a, a, a body of water that body of water appears as though it is never ending when you look from one end unto the other, 
all of you all you see is a horizon of straight edge water you know horizontally from left to right it's a cut edge from the, 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 the water into the skies and that's how the heavenly father is going to cover the earth during the time of judgment right because in the book of peter it says that the earth is reserved unto fire and that preservation that the heavenly father has once he takes that lid off there's no turning back you know just like preserved fruits you know once you pop that lid you know typically that consumption period needs to take place because now it's been oxidated so <clears throat> as it is written that the wicked of the of the world in the book of Zechariah that the two parts therein shall be cut off and die and one of the main points is that during the prophesying of Noah on behalf of speaking and being the mouthpiece of the most high Yahweh that there shall come rain in due time and no one prepared their hearts no, no one prepared their minds outside of those particular seven souls that the heavenly father ordained to recreate life as he destroyed all of the other wicked and evil doers in today's time we steadily prophesy that there shall come a, a time that the heavenly father is going to rain fire and brimstone down upon this place right because as it's written remember ye Sodom and Gomorrah because those particular uh, cities were destroyed due to their wickedness they were destroyed due to their mischief and the heavenly father destroyed them by raining fire and brimstone down from the heavens you know, but this way is going to go out by way of thermal nuclear missiles because you look at the nuclear capabilities that, that all of these nations have the heavenly father said that I, that I have created the smith meaning that he's created those particular ancient blacksmiths who are scientists in today's time to come up with the technology to create these ICBM missiles for their own demise and utterly to play part in that lake that shall burn with fire pursuant to the book of Revelation. And once World War III is in the mix and all these nations are fighting one against another the Lord is going to appear in the clouds with the host of the angels and the war that the nations are having with one another, they're going to stop fighting one another and turn and try to make war with the Lord and the, and the angels up above. You know, you read that as well. It says, in a durst fight, you know, no one repented of their evil, no one repented of their wickedness. They see the power and the majesty of the Lord and no one bowed down and, 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 and stopped and thought, you know, maybe I shouldn't do this. Or, or, or I mean, I, I regret the, the, the particular life that I lived. I regret the lifestyle that I upkept. I regret not turning to the Father. I regret not nurturing up my children to serve the Lord. Nope, the scripture says they durst fight. And that's why in the, in, in the valley of Armageddon, the valley of Yeho uh, 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 Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat, valley of decision right there shall be many slain and people don't understand that the heavenly father is just not this complete unnatural balance of all love as the world has tried to implant inside of our minds but he is a complete balance of love and hate right it says wickedness he despises you know sin and the sinner the lord hateth you know for a long time we've been brainwashed to believe that the Lord don't does not hate the sinner he hates the sin and that makes absolutely no sense it's like hating the slap but not hating the person that slapped you or being mad at the, the at the punch that gave you a black eye but not mad at the individual who punched you without a cause like none of that imbalance of emotional immaturity makes sense but through the simplicity that is in Yahweh Shai, the world is entangled up into 
the cares of this life in which they listen more so to the people of the like mind. So individuals with cares of this world speak different things that are persuasive and on a better level to understand than people who don't have the cares of this world. That's why the love of this world is enmity with the Lord. Because the love of this world, it does not give you that balance that you need in order to make proper judgment calls and proper decision making. You know, but as the dews of the heaven were once upon the face of the earth and then the flood came and washed them all away, the rainbow is in the sky in today's time to let us know that there shall not come another flood upon the earth. But the prophets are out there letting us know that there shall come a flood of fire that shall rain down upon the wicked. as a day that is for to come and the heavenly father's word does not go out void so as i prepare for it i take it for granted just as the time of noah the scripture says remember ye the days of noah until next time i say shalom